All right, let's say that you've got yourself an iPad Pro, like the one you're seeing right here. And you wanna be able to take your screen and show it on a screen like this. There are three ways that you can do it. And here's the first one. Now I've got an Apple TV plugged into this particular television. It's a 4K Apple TV, the previous generation, but the one before that should work just fine as well. Also, this will probably work if you have the Apple TV app installed. Just have both devices on the exact same network. Hit this button, hit this button, put the code up on the screen. It's one time use. I got it right. And now, if I want to do something like play a keynote presentation, if you happen to have a custom Mac screen, like a studio display like we have on display here, that uses a Thunderbolt cable to output and input its video, then you can actually use that cable with the iPad Pro without the need of an adapter. So what do you say we try this out? This is the Thunderbolt cable here. I'm using it on my Mac Pro right now. I can just disconnect it. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can get it to work. Oh, it's getting a charge. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Why can't, or these are all really, really interesting Apple ways to make video output to Apple devices. Isn't there any way that I can make the iPad work on something that is not Apple, just out of the box? And I would say, nope, this is Apple. <laughs> Where have you been? You, at the very least, are going to need an adapter if you want something to work with it with, that's not an Apple standard. And that's where this comes in. This is the USB-C Digital AV Multipart Adapter. This is probably going to be the option that most of you are going to end up taking. What is this? This takes the Thunderbolt port on the back of the iPad, on the bottom of the iPad Pro, and adds an HDMI port as well as an extra charge port and USB slot. Those of you guys who have iMacs that use the Thunderbolt 3 standard or Thunderbolt 4 standard probably use these things already in the conjunction of using a second monitor. That's a not that's basically like a like an HDMI or display port monitor. I know my wife with her iMac uses this exact same adapter and she uses an iMac from like 2017. From what I've been told, these adapters still work if you're using a 2020 iMac uh, or newer. So keep that in mind. If you got one of them lying around, great. If you don't have one of them lying around, they are 60 to 70 bucks and you still need to get your hands on an HDMI cable. Let's try this out and see if it works though, shall we? So this is pretty much what we did. This is a 1080p television. It's set to the HDMI input that I plugged this cable into. This is a regular plain old HDMI cable plugged into the USB-C adapter. I've got that uh, USB-C cable also there. That's just for power, so I can get some extra power. But those of you guys who have Macs will probably recognize this adapter as like the one adapter that you can use on your MacBook to get a uh, solid video out. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to just plug it into this. This is uh, this is my uh, tablet here, so I'm going to need two hands for this. So give me a second. All right, I've plugged it in, and now I've got mirroring. And I can run an application if I wanted to, right from here. Obviously, I can't guarantee that all of these methods may work with your particular device. I can tell you that based upon a little bit of experimentation, all of these methods will work on an iPad Pro. I have tried to do these uh, methods on a Gen 10, um, just a regular plain old iPad. And I got some mixed success. I can confirm that the uh, 
the USB-C adapter that we used does work on an iPad, uh, on a regular Gen 10 iPad. Earlier model uh, generation iPads use a, use the lightning adapter. I think there's like a lightning to USB adapter that, I'm sorry, the HDMI adapter that you would use instead. Um, and of course the Apple TV option will work with those pretty well. As for the Mac monitor, um, from what I've been told, that could only work with an iPad Air or, uh, that has a compatible port or the iPad Pro. I haven't tested the, uh, the, the studio monitor to work on a regular Gen 10 iPad. Um, I haven't seen anybody say that it doesn't work, but then again, I don't know for a fact if it would or wouldn't. So please keep that in mind and be aware of what kind of device that you're using before trying these methods. But this video is specifically for the iPad Pro, and I've confirmed these are three methods that you can use to get your iPad Pro to work on, you know, a, a big screen so you can do your presentation on time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Maniac with GamingSess.net. Take care. Over and out.